IV push slash hydration. If a patient's chief complaint is throwing up and diarrhea, poor thing, and the patient <laughs> received an IV push of Zofran and hydration for two hours, would it be coded as 96374, that's for the IV push, and 96361 times two? Also, are there any cheat sheets or flow charts that explain how to code infusions, pushes, and hydrations? So I'll let you know what I found out. I actually um, taught myself self something new with this so thank you for this question and there are no flow sheets that I know of I did try and do a Google search to find any and um, a lot of people talked about wanting the same thing so maybe that is uh, something we'll have to put on our list of uh, coding tools to develop in our little giveaway area <clears throat> so I went to Supercoder looked at the codes and found some information on hydration and fusion now this is actually in your CPT manual because I knew 93961 was an add-on code. So I wanted to see, because the question up here, 969360 is the parent code to 361. But it doesn't always mean that, there's a, um, that there isn't a parenthetical note giving us different instructions. And that's indeed what I, what I found. So um, My reply was 93961 is an add on code, so we need to see what it's appropriate to add it on to. The first parenthetical note says to use it in conjunction with 96360. So I thought it, I was done and was saying, you know, we therefore we need to have the 96360 listed first for the first hour and 93961 for the second hour. But upon further research, I found out that that would be if hydration was the initial service and in this questioner's case that was not what we were dealing with um, so reading further down underneath the code there is another parenthetical note that says to report 96361 the add-on code to identify hydration if provided as a secondary or subsequent service after a different initial service and here's the very code that they were asking about for that push and this is the key if it's administered through the same IV access okay so if the Zofran was administered to be the same IV that's being used for the hydration then yes you can use the add-on code 96361 in addition to the 96374 um, and then you have to get into the to the unit stuff with the time and yes it would be two units um, if you're in the replay club you'll get a, a link to this article on, on Supercoder um, this is just a portion of the article and it was labeled number two how do you code hydration following an IV push this is exactly what you were asking so the question is staff administered chemotherapy via IV push after that staff administered 95 minutes of hydration so this is an hour and 35 minutes how should we report the administration codes for this encounter by the way the the two codes are initial hour each additional hour is how it's worded the answer is if the patient received chemo via IV push and subsequently 95 minutes of hydration, you would code 96409, that's for the chemo, and then for the IV push, you'd code, um, that's what you'd code for the IV push, but for the hydration, you're going to code 96361 times 2 because um, the documentation supported it 95 minutes. Um, so you'll notice that the correct hydration coding involves an add-on code um, and not 96360. So apparently this is a, um, a popular question. And they go on to explain here's why. You should report 96360 only when the hydration is the initial service. And there's the CPT guideline. When administering multiple infusions, injections, or combinations, only one initial service code should be reported for a given date. Um, unless protocol requires that there's two separate IV sites and that that can happen too. Physician coders should choose the initial code based on the primary reason for the patient visit. Was it for chemo or was it for dehydration? And then facility coders in contrast follow a hierarchy outlined in the CPT guidelines. So, um, so yeah, you had it right um, in your question, but I would go to that supercoder site and read that article. It was very well written 
and illuminating. Get more CPC exam tips, coding certification training, and CEU credits. Go to www.codingcertification.org.